If you work in data science or anywhere related to building a data pipeline in your organization, you should be aware of Apache Airflow. This is one of the awesome open source project specifically designed for data science and data pipeline in large scale. In this series of video, we'll be exploring Apache Airflow and finding out how it can be used for a real use case in finance. Hey, it's Selvan Theo from Lambda Edge, where we look at finance and technology. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and everything we mentioned in this video, including the presentation, will be available in the description box below. In the first part series, we will try to understand what Airflow is and also we lay the foundation of what we're going to build in the next couple of videos. The objective is to build a data pipeline to source repo rates. The specific repo rates that we are interested in is from the US called the SOFR or Secured Overnight Funding Rate. This is specifically applicable because of the replacement of LIBOR. If you want to know more about LIBOR, please check out my other videos on LIBOR and SOFR. Apache Airflow is a platform to programmatically author, schedule, and monitor workflows. Gone are the days where we have to use cron or any kind of scheduler, and this is what Apache Airflow is trying to replace. It's a really powerful tool, primarily because it uses Python as the fundamental language for authoring what they call as DAGs, directed acyclic graphs. I'll be having a whole section on what DAG is and the data structure behind it. And the reason why Apache Airflow is having such a large community and it has uh, so much user base is because of the connections that it has, the ease of use with a powerful UI. Scheduling and monitoring, and if you want to restart a job, it's so easy in Airflow. We'll look at the Airflow UI later in this video. For now, we'll jump into the Git repository and see how to get this installed. Here we are in the Apache Airflow Git repository. As you can see, it's a really powerful community of contributors and it's very active. There are about 1,300 contributors and the easiest way to get started is using the pip install in your command line. We're not gonna be using pip, rather we'd be using Docker to run this locally. The reason being there are several different versions of Airflow and it can become quite complicated if you have to migrate from one version to the other. Instead, what we'll be using is the Docker version of the Airflow and the Git repository for the same is here. I will put the link in the description box. You just have to head over to this and follow the instruction. The first thing you have to do is, as a prerequisite, you'll have to install Docker. And once you have Docker installed, you could actually do the Docker pull of the image and just do a Docker run. By default, the Docker run for this repository has the sequential executor. We look at the different sorts of executors that Airflow provides, but this is good enough for us for the use case that we are going to be building. And I'm actually going to use the load examples option, and this will allow us to see the different examples straight away. The first command that I'll be using will be the docker pull, which will pull the latest docker airflow image and build it in your machine. The second command that I'll be using is to docker run, and I'll be running this as a daemon on the port 8080. And I'll be using the load ex equal to y flag, and this loads the example as well. Once you do this, you should see docker and airflow running in your machine, and airflow typically runs on the local host 8080 you have straight away you have all the examples loaded and we will go into the details of every screen in the future videos but for now understand that this is the mo most important screen that you will be using to configure and author DAGs. As mentioned in the beginning of the video we'll be authoring a data pipeline and these are the sequence of steps that has to happen to source the SOFR rates. Assume that you're given a task to not only source it but also use that historical rates to be published within the organization and these are the four steps which will be which will be actually authoring inside of airflow and the final step is to send a mail to yourself to say that everything went fine 
Secured Overnight Financing Rate or SOFR in short is what Fed uses for administering its monetary policy. It's basically the repo rate or the rate at which Fed borrows from primary dealers and it is published daily and both the rate as well as the volume is in the Fed's website. Secured Overnight Financing Rate is published on the New York's Fed website on a daily basis at 8 a.m. EST. This is a rate as mentioned is a volume weighted median of transaction level of various tri-party repo collected from Bank of New York Mellon. They expose an API both in the SOAP as well as the RESTful API endpoint. We'll be using the REST endpoint to source this data at 8 a.m. every day using the DAG that we configure in Airflow. For the next series of lectures, we'll do this and we will explore how this data is being stored and retrieved and redistributed in the organization. In this first part, we saw what Airflow is and how to get it set up using Docker. We also saw what SOFR and what the data pipeline that we'll be building in the next series of lectures. Hope this was useful. Thanks for listening.